Hi, AVE students. Welcome to video 14 on population equations and vocab. So you should be able to calculate crude birth rates, crude death rates, rate of natural increase, and population change. And then you should be able to use the population change to calculate the growth rate of a population. You should also be able to explain ways in which the population um, growth rate can impact the environment. So these are some basic formulas, um, basic terms that you need to know. Um, crude birth rate is the number of births per 1,000 people. In 1990, it was about 24.7. Now it's about 19.4. Um, you do not need to write those numbers down, but just be aware that it has decreased over time. Um, if you see CBR, you are expected to know that that is standing for crude birth rate. Um, crude death rate is the number of deaths per 1,000 people. In 1990, it was about 9.1. Now it's about 8.1. And if you take the differences in these two things, you get the crude growth rate. So crude birth rate minus crude death rate. Um, and what you can do with those numbers is you can calculate a rate of natural increase, which is basically how much is your population actually changing um, or what is the increase in the births and the deaths. Um, so what you do is you take the CBR minus the CDR and then to get it into a rate, which is percentage form, you divide by 10. So that's going to change that to a percent. So looking at growth rate, um, you need to be able to know this formula, memorize it, got to know it. You will not get a formula sheet for the AP exam. Also won't get one for the exam that we have for this unit. Um, so percent growth rate equals your births minus your deaths plus your immigration, how many people come in, minus your immigration, how many people leave. Um, and if you put parentheses around this top number up here, that is your population change. And so you might have questions that ask you, what is the population change? And it gives you these four variables. Okay, but if you take the population change and you divide it by the initial population size and you multiply it by 100, then that gives you the growth rate of that population. So here's an example. I encourage you to pause the video and actually work this one out. Um, write it down as a good example in your notes. If a population of 10,000 experiences 100 births, 40 deaths, 10 immigrants, and 30 immigrants in a year, what is the net annual percentage growth rate? Okay, so I'm going to give you the answer now. Okay, so this is how you set it up. Um, you've got 100 people that are born, 40 die, 10 come in, 30 exit, and you divide by 10,000. Um, and then you're also going to, don't forget to multiply by 100. Um, now, remember, you cannot use a calculator on the AP exam, so you should be able to do this math in your head um, or at least, you know, long division out on paper. Um, if you're not or if you can't remember long division, a video would be really good to help. Um, there's a bunch of them on YouTube. We will also talk about long division and do this example in class. So your growth rate should have been 0.4%. So looking at different regions, um, another thing that you have to be able to do is calculate the doubling time of a population. So doubling time equals 70 divided by the annual percent growth. Um, so get that formula down. You will need to know it. And double, doubling time simply is how long does it take a population to double? So if I start, excuse me, if I start out with 10,000 people, how long does it take me to get to 20,000? So here's an example. Today's 1.2% growth rate. Um, the population will double in 58 years. So what you do is you take 70, divide by 1.2, and that gives us 58 years. Now this is all an estimate because there's a much more complicated formula for actually calculating true population growth, um, but we're not going to do that because it uses exponents and logarithms and you don't have a calculator, so we're just using the rule of 70. So here's the rule of 70 again. Here's it written a little bit more mathematically. So doubling time, 70 divided by percent growth rate. Here's another example. Uh, pause the video and try it. If the population of a country grows at a rate of 5% a year, the number of years required for the population to double is what? Okay, now a common mistake that students like to make is they try to change 5% to a percentage, like a decimal, and you do not need to do that. You just leave it like this. So here's how you would calculate that. Doubling time is 70 divided by 5, so therefore it's going to take us 14 years for our population to double. And finally, talking about factors that impact the environment when you're looking at population. Um, this is called the IPAT equation. So what this is, and you know these variables, be able to label them, um, your impact is equal to your population, times your affluence of that population, times the technology of that. 
Um, so population, as we're increasing population, we're taking up space, we're using more resources. So that's why your impact is going to be higher. Affluence is how well off is your country. Um, are you living in a developed versus developing? Developed countries use more resources. Um, so that's why your impact is going to be higher. And the technology, this is talking about destructive technology. Um, so using up a lot of resources, having a lot of waste, um, especially electronic waste is a huge problem in our society. Um, this is not talking about technology that might actually help and lower the impact. Um, so if any of these things over on this side of the equation increase, then your impact is going to increase. If any of these decrease, then your impact will decrease. All right, bring your questions tomorrow. Be ready for a quiz.